So I picked up a new printer. It's a Prusa i3 style. It's actually a Wanho Duplicator i3 that's been rebranded, so I've got a pretty good deal on it. So it's filament Friday. Let's print a sundial and see how accurate it is. And here's the original digital sundial design. It's created by Thingiverse user Mojo Patix. It's really cool because it produces a digital value from the sun. Now it only goes from 10 o'clock to 1600 hours, so it's kind of military time and limited. And it goes every 20 minutes, like 1220, 1240, 1300 hours. But it still was interesting and I wanted to try this out. So I loaded the main file into Simplify 3D, but it didn't really fit in the X and Y direction. So I had to use the Z setting to turn it 45 degrees and then it fit just fine. So now I could send this to the printer. So I used a PLA setting even though this plastic didn't really call it out. The temperature was such that it looked like PLA. And then I used a 15% fill and I set it to a medium quality but then went into the advanced settings and made that 0.15 layer height. And I also included a raft, which I later regretted, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I sent it off to the printer, and here's the time lapse. Now this was actually a 14-hour print, so I just let the time lapse go, and it turned out really good. The only regret was the raft. It screwed up the whole bottom of this print. There were three other pieces that formed the mount, or the base, of this thing. And I was able to put those all on one platform. They're separate STL files, but I put them all together, printed under the same settings, and they printed out just fine. So here's the finished design. All printed and I bolted it together per his instructions. I actually had to drill out this hole to fit the bolt that I had that was long enough. And it drilled pretty good. But this is... Um, they call it a wood material, but it's not really wood. It's got a wood look. It's got a little bit of a wood feel, but it's it's mostly, I think, PLA. Although the, the spool doesn't say it, but the temperature range implies it's PLA. And I proved that when I had to sand off the bottom because I screwed up. I, I printed this with a raft. And I sliced it in Simplify 3D and then printed with a raft, but I couldn't get the raft off. It was sticking to the bottom. And so I thought, you know what, I do this with ABS, I just put it on my sander, and it sands it right off. Well, this is softer material, so it started to melt before it sanded, and I just created a, a mess. So I had to take an X-Acto knife and actually carve out every one of these holes, hold it up to the light, see where a hole was, and like carve it out. So it's not as clean as it should be, and that's my fault. If I printed it again, I think I'd print it upside down, and because it's not as critical here. So I think I could get away with that. But overall, the print's uh, it's pretty big. And you need a bigger printer to print this. Although it looks like you could probably cut it in half. And I think he's got two files on there um, that you could actually print it in two pieces and then glue them together. So it's kind of like split in the middle. So I may try that on a, one of the other printers. Just print half and see how it comes out. But overall, this is really clever. So... Let's try it out and see if it works. So I just shined light down on this thing and you can see 1140 appears and I turn it a little bit and then 12 o'clock appears. And then turn it a little more. You can kind of read 1220. And then I turn it a little bit more and 1240 appears better. The four looks definitely better than the two. And then one more turn and I get 1300 hours. So it's working. So that's it. It printed pretty nicely. I kind of screwed this up by trying to print a raft and then I had to carve all that out so the quality of this thing is really more my fault than the printer. But overall I think it handled it very well. I would never have attempted this on my DaVinci. Um, there's just no way it would, I don't believe it would work. I may at some point try it but it's a, that's a big print and a long print so I don't know. We'll, we'll hold off on that. But I've been pretty pleased so far with the results. There's a few things I don't like about it. And I'll do a full review in the future on this printer. I just need time to play with it right now, evaluate it, and figure everything out. But the quality I'm getting out of it 
with an MK10. It's got an MK10 extruder versus an E3D V6. It's doing a pretty good job. So overall, I'm getting about the same quality as I do out of my Fabricator Mini, maybe slightly less quality, but a lot better than I get out of the Da Vinci's, even the Reflash Da Vinci. So it's a nice addition, and I'll just keep doing more evaluation. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching and you want to see more. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to my Patreon account. There's a link up there. It helps so much. It really does. And shows me that you really love this channel. And I want to do more for my Patreon people. It's coming in the new year. So stick with me. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.